Buckeye Cable is ridiculing WNWO and owner Sinclair Broadcasting for requesting a higher fee for its programming. They've not come to Toledo and they are demanding about 10 times more than what the previous owners of WNWO required. WNWO contacted Buckeye for comment. They declined, saying they are, quote, getting the word out. Sinclair's general counsel says that under previous ownership, Buckeye Cable grossly underpaid WNWO for its programming for years. The money that they were being paid under their last contract was just ridiculously below the market rate. But some Buckeye customers don't care about the market rates and contracts. I just think cable is way too expensive. <laughs> they just know they're unable to view a major network channel. All I know as the consumer is I miss the channel. There were a lot of shows that I used to watch regularly and uh, now I can't. Buckeye contends that WNWO wants more money, which would result in higher cost to viewers. WNWO management says viewers are paying Buckeye for channels they may not watch. For example, viewers without young children still pay for Disney and Nickelodeon. Or you might not watch the game of cricket on ESPN3, but you pay for that too. They're being paid a, a huge amount more than we're requesting. Faber says WNWO has been getting only a fraction of what WNWO's competition gets. And now that the contract is up, WNWO is asking for a raise, which still won't match others in the market. It's not like we're out there trying to gouge anybody. We're, we're still accepting less than we're really worth. Faber says Buckeye customers have two choices. The first is simple. The way to get this solved is to just switch. Faber says if you want your bill to go down, demand that cable companies only charge you for the channels you want. Chris Camp, WNWO News.